terrorize my family? Enjoy losing everything and going back to jail, M. Wife Douchebag, Entitled Woman, Entitled Woman. 2. Hello, this is a long post, so buckle up for the ride. Myself and my wife had just had our second child and moved into a duplex in an amazing neighborhood, had its own playground even. We moved in and greeted the neighbors, bunch of younger people, but they seemed okay. The first day after moving in, we find that they're gone, and they're left their seven-year-old, on a school day, outside our door with a bag of goldfish and a note asking us to watch him while they went out, cue CPS call number one. The neighbors and me got along really well old guy next door, repaired bikes for a hobby, and the next-door neighbor did woodworking and would always come over to see the kids and sent his grandkids over to play to. They warned us that our upstairs neighbors were trouble, constant traffic going in and out and parties every single night. This was 110% the truth. It got to the point. We couldn't sleep at night, and we had multiple altercations. To the point, it was full-blown yelling matches. The landlord was useless and would do nothing to get rid of them, so I bided my time. Eventually, one night they came home in their red Mazda 3, and it was destroyed. They must have hit someone and ran, so I called the RCMP to let them know. As, at the very least, I figured they'd get in deep shit, but oh man, I had no idea what I had just unleashed. Turns out the douchebag had a warrant out for his arrest for drug trafficking. He got hauled away in cuffs that night, and entitled, Woman 2 got a visit from CPS again, as they left their son home alone again. This wasn't once or twice, it was every single day. So my wife went digging for names and found the mother on Facebook. Using public record searches, we found out that they owed Easy Home nearly 48K in assets, as they had taken off from the original address with all of their furniture, including TVs, and a huge sound system. 48 hours later, the sheriff was there with a box truck emptying their house. Took the beds, couches, TVs, the annoying subwoofer system, kitchen set, and even the dressers. CPS came shortly after and removed the child from the house. I didn't enjoy seeing him taken away, but they never fed him, and he was always in the same clothing, and it was falling apart, we went out of our way to make sure he had full meals when we could not gonna let a kid starve. The douchebag went to jail for drug possession. He was out on bail and hid the drugs in a dresser they took. Entitled Woman 1 went to jail for assaulting the sheriff and Entitled Woman 2 actually had a happy ending. Far as I know, after she lost her son, she went through multiple programs to clean herself up and started working to provide for her son ran into her a couple years ago, and she thanked me for what I did. I got pro-revenge on the drug dealer and his girlfriend and thankfully helped someone get on the right path.